Good afternoon. We're continuing to learn the halachas if a person forgets to daven. The halacha is, is that the next time for davening, a person davens two Shemona Esrei's, one for that particular service, and the second one to make up for the Shemona Esrei, one missed. So if someone forgot to daven Mincha, he'll daven Marav twice. The first Shemona Esrei is to make up to daven Marav, and the second Shemona Esrei is to make up for Mincha. Now, what if a person, that's very good if it's a regular weekday and you missed Mincha, because so then you daven Marav twice, because every Shemona Esrei for the weekday is the same. All right, it's pretty much exactly the same. So you dive in a second Shemona Esrei, which mirrors the one you miss. But what happens if you miss Shemona Esrei, Mincha of Erev Shabbos? Friday afternoon. Friday afternoon, so what would you usually do? You would usually dive in Marv twice. But here it's a little different because the Marv Shemona Esrei that, that we dive in Friday night for Shabbos is different from the Mincha Shemona Esrei that we usually dive in during the week. So is the Halacha any different here? So let's see. We're on Kuf Ches Sif Tes, which is 108.9. Ta v'lo his palo mincha be'er Shabbos. Someone made a mistake and he forgot to daven mincha on Friday afternoon. Mis palo ar v'shtayim shal Shabbos. So he davens uh, two marivs of two Shabbos marivs. So even though that he is davening a different Shmona Esrei that he missed, he still should daven two marivs. So a person forgot mincha, that's he forgot a weekday Shemona Esrei, mincha of Friday. So Friday night for Marav, for Shabbos, he davens two Shabbos Shemona Esrei. So even though he's not davening the identical Shemona Esrei, that Shabbos Shemona Esrei still counts as a makeup for what he missed on mincha. Harishona la Arvis, the first one is for Marav, Vahashniya Tashluman, and the second one is a makeup. That's what the Machaber says. Let's see what the Mishnah Brewer says on this. Shal Shabbos Afagav Shabola Tashlum and Shalchol. Even though he's making up for the Shmona Esrei that he missed during the week, Mikol Makom Kevin She'achshav Hu Shabbos. Since now it's Shabbos, Miss Pala also Gam Kain Shal Shabbos. So since now it's Shabbos, so he makes up by davening the Shabbos Shmona Esrei twice. Ve'im Tav his Pala Hashnia Shalchol. Now what happens if he made a mistake? Let's say he made he made an error. He thought, well, you know, I missed a weekday Shmona Esrei. So let me daven first a Shabbos Shmona Esrei for Marv, and then after that, I'll daven a weekday Shmona Esrei, because that's what I missed. That's what he thinks in his head. So that's the wrong thing, but let's say he did it. Does it count? Potomilis Pal, he doesn't have to daven again. It works. Now, let's say he did it the opposite order. Ve'im hikdim bazeh hashal chol hashal Shabbos. Let's say first he davened a weekday Shmona Esrei, and then he davened a Shabbos Shmona Esrei. Does it count then? So, so it doesn't work according to everyone. And the reason is, is because of principle that we mentioned before. That when we daven a makeup Shemona Esrei, the first one has to be for the Shemona Esrei I'm required to say now. And the second one has to be for my makeup. So here, what did he do? He davened a weekday Shemona Esrei first. And then he davened a Shabbos Shemona Esrei. So he did it in the reverse order. The first Shemona Esrei, he was clearly davening a weekday Shemona Esrei because he meant it to be for Mincha. And the second Shemona Esrei, he meant it to be for Shabbos, so he reversed the order. So he would have to daven again a third Shemona Esrei to be the makeup for Shabbos. Now, we're going to make the case even more complicated. Ach, imadayin hayom gadol, el shekibel Shabbos bizmizmor shir. Let's say, we know there's such a concept as, as, a, um, as an early Shabbos. A person can accept Shabbos upon himself before it actually becomes night. So that means... We daven Mariv, even though we, we daven the evening service, even though it's still daytime, because we accepted Shabbos upon ourselves. So what happens if a person accepted Shabbos upon himself, but it's still daytime, but he forgot to daven Mincha? Then what? So, imadayin hayom gadol, if it's still daytime, Elish Akibel Shabbos Mizmorshir, but he said Mizmorshir to accept Shabbos upon himself, Obe Baruchu or Baruchu, and he didn't dive in mincha. So, in a way, what does he do? Because it's still daytime, so technically you could still dive in mincha, because it's daytime, but on the other hand, you accepted Shabbos. And if it's Shabbos, it means it's already the next day, and you can't dive in mincha. So what do you do? So to mavur l'kavon v'sim reish z'amar gimel sif tezvav, the ispal arvishtayim. So what you're supposed to do is you dive in marv twice. Even though it's technically still the daytime, since you already accepted Shabbos, it has the status of being the next day, so you can't go down Mincha again. 
So what do you do? You dive in Marv for the Mar the Marv service, and then you dive in another Shabbos Shmona Esrei to make up for the Mincha you missed. But now, what if you didn't know that halacha? You made a mistake. You, you, made, you made an error. You said, listen, even though I accepted Shabbos, it's still daytime, so I could daven mincha. So, so what do you do? You daven mincha, and then you daven marv after. So what happens then? You did the wrong thing, but you have to go daven again. So, um... So, the Mishnah Brewer says it's possible that you don't have to go and daven again and you fulfilled your obligation because it's still daytime. So he says it's possible. It's possible. Um, so he's not, he's not, uh, it's not 100% clear what the conclusion is, but it's different here because even though you already accepted Shabbos upon yourself, since it's still daytime, it's technically day, so there is some wiggle room, maybe, that you could still daven mincha. And that's what the Mishnah Brewer says. It's uh, possible that you fulfilled your obligation. But definitely the, the preference of what to, what to do is if you, let's say you accepted Shabbos, you started davening Kabbalah Shabbos, and you forgot to daven mincha, so you daven marv, Shabbos monastery for marv, and then as a makeup, you do a, you do a Shabbos monastery as the makeup for mincha. Okay. So just to summarize, we have that if someone forgets to daven mincha on Erev Shabbos, he should daven two marvs, two Shabbos marvs. And even though the Shemona Esrei he missed was a weekday Shemona Esrei, that doesn't matter. He should still daven the Shabbos Shemona Esrei. And um, if he daven the first one as a regular, even if he, if he daven the second one as a weekday Shemona Esrei, it still counts, even though he did the wrong thing. However, if he daven the first one as a weekday Shemona Esrei, that doesn't count because he had the makeup before the one he was required. And then we said that if a person accepted Shabbos while it's still daytime and he forgot to daven Mincha, what he should do is daven Marv and then daven a second Marv to make up for Mincha, which he missed. But if he daven mincha a weekday Shemona Esrei, so he said Kabbalah, Kabbalah, uh, Kabbalah Shabbos, and then he daven mincha a weekday Shemona Esrei, and then Marv, the Mishnah Brewer says it's possible you fulfilled your obligation. Okay, a lot of details, but uh, if anyone has any questions, please feel free to reach out and have a beautiful end of your Sunday.